What movie traumatized you as a kid? E.T. Terrified me. Then my dad made it 1000x worse by telling me that the gurgling noises a tub makes as it's draining is E.T. and that he's coming to get me. My boyfriend and I were also similarly freaked out by E.T. as kids. We bonded over it. That's a total dad move right there. E.T. absolutely traumatized my little sister as a kid. She had E.T. themed nightmares for months. The old I.T. Mom is a huge Stephen King fan. So I was six or seven the first time I watched it. Tim Curry. Man, I didn't shower without either my mom or sister standing guard for at least a year. When the new one came out my mom thought it'd be fun to tie a red balloon to the sewer grate. Outside our house. Full-grown adult or not. F that. Edit because I saw it. The VHS my siblings kept on the top shelf. A piece of masking tape with flare which sharpied on. Taught me to be curious. The brave little toaster. That F clown. Or the air conditioner frying himself in his window. The scrapyard scene. Where they're all singing as they get crushed about unfulfilled hopes and dreams. Exclamation mark. You. For me it was the vacuum scene. Still have never recovered. There was a movie called Arachnophobia or something like that. My father let me watch it at a ridiculously young age. I remember asking him if we'd move if our house had deadly spiders. His response was absolutely not. Not sure why we said it but it affected me quite a bit and I'm not sure why. Oh god. When the spider comes out of the dead guy's nose. Jaws. Can't swim in the Sierra Lake without thinking. However fleetingly. That there's a shark nearby. I am convinced. For example. That the Norwegian fjords are filled with Greenland sharks. They actually held a screening of Jaws on a lake. With people sitting on rafts and other floating objects. The organizers also hired divers to pull on people's legs during certain scenes. Sounds perfect for you. I still don't go into the water at the beach. 40 years since I saw that movie. Monster House. Weirdly enough, I absolutely love that movie. I would watch it over and over lol. Yeah, no kidding. My family went to go see it in theaters. And everyone below the age of 10 ended up leaving lol. I didn't even know how it ended until a couple years ago. The only correct answer. Nightmare on the Elm Street. It scared me enough that I couldn't really sleep properly. This film I saw in late USSR in summer pioneer camp. Freddy was F extra scary for Soviet kids. F. Now I'm afraid to sleep. I didn't even have to watch the movie. My older sister explained the concept to me and I was done for. I screwed up as a four-year-old with a family friend hiding under a table to watch one of those. The first real dumb thing I remember doing as a kid. Coraline. The never-ending story. The horse dying just ruined me. Came here for this. A-R-T-A-X. Remember me, Eddie? When I killed your brother. I talk just like this. Exclamation mark. 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 Oh. F that movie with a rusty metal brush. Come sit by me and we can be traumatized together. Jessica Rabbit was hot, though. The shoe. That poor shoe. Exclamation mark. My parents showed that to me when I was way too young. I'm still upset about it? You mean to tell me you could have taken those cuffs of it any time? No, not at any time. Only when it was funny. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Flipping through channels when I was about six and came across the dinner scene with the snakes and monkey brains. The playful music was a little lost on me and I was still horrified. Later flipped through channels and came across the scene where the guy's heart is grabbed. That also scarred me pretty badly for a while. Watership Down, now why on earth that is classed as a kid's film I have no idea. Howard the Duck one week, and then returned to Oz the week after sad face.
Return to Oz was surely a creepy film. It's also amazing and couldn't take my eyes off it as a kid. Return to Oz definitely f me up. Large Marge in Pee Wee's Big Adventure terrified me and all my friends. Large Marge didn't do anything for me. But the part where Pee Wee has the accident. And then has that nightmare when he and his bike are sent to clown hell. Shudder. That scene gave me nightmares for years. I was freaking shocked for a second but then I cracked up five seconds after. James and the Giant Peach. My mom thought it was a cute movie and showed it to me when I was seven. That scene of the haunted ship with the skeletons, the centipede, and the compass still haunt me to this day. For some reason the giant cloud representing James's parents being killed terrified me. The Mummy. There was a scene where some golden bugs come alive and entered into one of the characters' body and... I have a phobia of bugs now. Yes. That was horrifying. The way it crawled around under his skin. Shivers. I came into this thread not really knowing of a movie that traumatized me as a kid. Then I read your comment. I can watch the second and third one with little problem. But that first one still gets to me. Ugh. Final Destination 3. The Tanning Salon. My first movie boobs and they burned alive. The tanning booth scene still has me traumatized. I can't even look at a tanning bed without being terrified. One of my all-time favorite gruesome movie deaths. Also, the ending of Final Destination 2 and the tragedy of Flight 180 from the first Final Destination. God I love this saga. Oh you cheeky wanker. Have you had a license? Y'all ever seen? The Velveteen Rabbit. Kid gets scarlet fever and has to have all his toys burned. But his favorite stuffed bunny loves him so much it becomes real and hops away. Presumably racked with survivor's guilt. Anyway, when my class watched this movie I was homesick, not scarlet fever, for the beginning and end. Really only catching the scene with the furnace. This left my young mind under the impression that my toys were both alive and liable to be unceremoniously called with no warning or explanation. Mars Attacks. Ak Ak. Was looking for this. Could hardly sleep for two days straight. Came here to say this. I happened to walk in on my mom and sister watching it at just the wrong moments of a finger being hit off and maybe a melting face. I still haven't seen it to this day but I had nightmares about my fingers getting bitten off for a long time. Bridge to Terabithia. More like bridge to ripping my heart out. Why was that a kid's film? I'd read the book. When I saw the trailer I thought, you lying sons of bee. That movie should not be a kid's film. I had a crush on Anna Sophia Robb's character. Man I've cried the hell out.